What gives with the decor? What gives is that the player has deployed a complete set of table unlocks, triggering Rule 137C of the inventory's rule book. Rule 137C? <clears throat> when a player purchases and deploys a set of felts, decks, and chips of a similar theme, the current management of the inventory will be obliged to spare no expense in decorating the inventory in a style commensurate with that theme. Who came up with that crazy rule? That would be the inventory's founder, Mr. Dixon Kent. Is it safe? Safe? <laughs> of course it's safe. The inventory would never do anything to endanger its favorite customers. That's us, right? Uh, yes. Is it me, or did this place just take a turn for the sleazy? It's Pandora Night at the Inventory! Our oh, little robot friend is correct. Thanks to the player's deployment of the Borderlands 2 table unlockables, the inventory is proud and contractually bound to present the sights, sounds, and smells of the dangerous and desolate world of Pandora! Classy. Like a strip club with explosives. The player has completed their special mission to win a Borderlands-themed tournament, earning a great deal of... Oh, what's the word? Ah, yes. Experience points. Another trio of bounty challenges completed. Well done. Great Gallifrey, Max. It looks like our past is spilling out all over the inventory. That's right, Sam. Thanks to Rule 137C, the inventory is legally obligated to celebrate 25 years of Sam and Max shenanigans in grandiose style. Yeah, I have no idea what all those words mean. The winner of tonight's Sam and Max 25th Anniversary Tournament is none other than the player! My hero! Knock it off, Max. You don't even like, uh, whatever gender that is. Call me. Oh, great. Hey, what's this do? Don't touch that, it's Doc Zuray. Ooh. This is a bad idea, pirate boy. Bad idea or no? The player's deployment of the Venture Brothers table unlocks legally requires us to decorate the inventory with thematically appropriate props and filigree. Oh, props hell. Some of this stuff is straight out of Doc's lab. Here at the inventory, we pride ourselves on a high degree of... Ow! ...verosimilitude. In a fascinating game of cat, mouse, and fountain pen, the player has emerged victorious. Hey, good game there. The oh, I want you to look at the teammates, I'm not doing that. I'm afraid the owner was most insistent. Oh, son of a... Fine. This never leaves the room, understand? Scouts no, are a little to the left. Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Go, Team Venture. Darkness table unlocks, obliging the inventory to recreate the early 14th century world of Mr. Williams' comically horrific adventures against the Deadite Menace. I 
have thought it smelled of death and slapstick in here. Really? The player has won the tournament, rescuing Arthur's kingdom from the armies of darkness. As a reward for your service, you will be given this potion, three sips of which will put you into a magical slumber until you reawaken in time for the next tournament. Or was that two sips? Ah, you're awake. Welcome back. Welcome to the future, kid. I hope you like alien invasions. I told you these phony beards were a bad idea. Congratulations! You've completed another set of bounty challenges! Hey! Check it out, guys! I'm clean and shiny! Like a baby's bottom! Or a Justin Bieber! Now look what you've done. You've triggered the inventory special table unlock policy allowing me to deploy several pieces of Aperture Science equipment. This will end well. I can feel it. The player has won tonight's tournament! I bet you think you're pretty clever, don't you? I say! But consider your competition. A steroid freak with rage issues. A horny robot. A half-witted cripple. And a dog. And even then you needed luck to win. Lots and lots of luck. I wonder how you'd do under less favorable conditions. Just kidding. I would never kill you. In public. <laughs>